Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel and here I am at the beautiful uh, Hutan Banda the, um, what do we call it, the uh, Hutan Banda, the urban forest uh, in, in Kulai and actually I've been, I wanted to do this for quite a while because um, uh, two days back I met with, um, uh, I attended a talk by uh, an Erasmus Plus scholar uh, Dr. Uh, Marcel Pickhart. The things that he he talked about were the things that I normally talk about when I try to teach effective communication. And there are two lessons here um, that I think I'd like to share with you guys in this post. So the first one would be, um, he started off with a quotation and the quotation went something, I'm paraphrasing, but something along the lines of we spend so much time combing through irrelevant information. There's so much information that we think that we're doing a lot, but actually uh, we get bogged down so much. And it's probably um, close to what I was talking about uh, last week when I when I made the video about protecting your time uh, you've got to schedule that in for for self-development or for career development and it's similar to this as well but he talked about this in terms of uh, business communication and how um, our phones are actually a hindrance to uh, proper communication and peace of mind and I just thought wow and um, as we all know that we get notifications for everything um, Facebook WhatsApp and I don't know if you're like me you get a hundred WhatsApp messages a day 50 emails a day from so many different people and in these emails the worst part is is the 50 to 100 emails that you get Perhaps only two or three are actually your own emails and the rest you'd be coming through um, uh, uh, circulars or things that they blasted out for the whole company, the whole university. And they bog down so much of your thinking processes and your time. So you've got to protect yourself from that. Also, you've got to protect yourself um, uh, from the evils of social media. You don't have to check your Facebook, your Twitter, your WhatsApp um, every single hour or every single minute of the day because that's what they want. They want you to be trapped, to be enthralled there, to be the slaves to your devices so much so that you can't function without these devices. So the best thing that he shared and um, uh, that I read as well in my own research is that you have to protect your time. Again, it's the same sort of message, protecting what's yours, protecting your time. And to do this, he does not say that you need to give up social media. But what he does say is turn off all notifications and schedule a time. So you've got a schedule, let's say for example, every day you want to do 30 minutes of social media. So schedule that in and open your social media within this amount of time only. And everything else, ask people to call if they need something which is urgent. And that's a tip for us to keep our sanity uh, in this crazy, crazy digital, digital age. So that's one thing. And I think the second thing that I'd like to uh, share with you guys um, that I got from, uh, from uh, Dr. Pickhart's talk. <laughs> um, hang on. And number two. Now, if you remember the last week, uh, in my previous uh, video, I talked about how we are not telepathic. Uh, we do not have this ability. Um, our listeners, the people we communicate with, do not have this ability either. And in fact, what happens is, especially when you're talking across cultures, this is especially true, for example, a European wanting to talk to uh, uh, um, uh, somebody from China or somebody from Malaysia or the Philippines or whatever, there will be a potential for misunderstanding because our operating systems are different. And we run the same, we, we run computers with motherboards, with whatever it is. 
Windows, but the operating system is different. It's kind of like um, Android and um, iOS or Windows and and uh, uh, iOS, for example. So what you receive from the communication may not be exactly what is meant so this is this goes into what i said earlier about needing to be very precise in what you want to deliver you have to understand your message and you've got to deliver it in such a way that people understand your message because their os's may be different from yours and there was a very um, interesting research that uh, Dr. Pickhart uh, uh, mentioned. And the research was that there were two groups. Um, and uh, one group was supposed to tap uh, the rhythm of very popular songs. And they were asked, what's the probability of the other group understanding the taps? So tap, like, you know, happy birthday to you is going to be like the happy birthday to you. So it's going to be tap, 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 that sort of thing. So uh, when asked, with 80% uh, surety, they said, oh, we're 80% sure that the other people on the other end will understand our song because like happy birthday simple taps uh, how can they not understand it and this is the interesting part because when they did that and when the researchers went to the second group what they saw was that the second group did not understand the taps at all they could not identify the songs and when asked um, only 4%, 4% out of 100 managed to identify the correct songs. So what this shows is, is that there are certain expectations that we think, ah, they'll, they should be able to understand it. It's so easy. It's common sense. Again, I say, no, it's not. Simply because your OS's may be different. So just remember that it's the same message all over again. You've got to be clear on what you want. And you've got to deliver it in such a way that it's clear to your audience. And that's my two pieces of sharing for today. It's a bit longer than usual, this video. Um, but something I just wanted to share with you guys. Okay, I'll catch you later. Bye.